let's unpack your idea now. So what was the, the winning idea that you came up with? Uh, yeah, so my idea was to um, come up with some sort of device to try and mitigate uh, roadkill, obviously. So um, it kind of has two components. There's a sensor component that senses um, when there's oncoming cars. Um, and then this uh, sets off an alarm to, uh, with the aim of scaring animals away from the road before the car arrives. So there's kind of the sensor and the alarm modules, and then they communicate with um, uh, the initial pitch was radio, like radio frequency signal. Um, not sure if it's still going to be radio frequency or some other kind of wireless comms, but yeah, that was the the basic idea. Hmm. It's such a it's such a creative and kind of unique idea. How did you first kind of formulate it? Yeah, so um, it was quite an interesting um, kind of design process, I suppose. I was kind of I did a little bit of research into other um, you know technologies that have been. Um, been developed kind of to target roadkill because most of the solutions I had heard about had been like um, pretty much just building fences or overpasses, which um, they're super expensive um, and so not really viable in Tassie. Um, so I was looking at, I actually kind of got the idea um, at the time I was working as an intern and I was working with um, like a, an access system and they use those little RFID tags and you tap them and then it like opens the door for you. Um, and so I was trying to think of some kind of like sensor actuator device. And then I kind of took inspiration from this access door and I thought, well, instead of a car, if you can sense that using, you know, some kind of wireless, um, you know, communications signal and then have that set off an alarm. Um, I thought that was a good way of kind of removing the sort of human side to the problem because um, a lot of the uh, solutions solutions to roadkill at the moment involve like lowering speed limits and things like that um, or like just human reaction times which are unreliable so I was trying to look at kind of an animal focused approach if that makes sense. Hmm. Very unique problem uh, and it's, it's one that I think a lot of people don't think about except for the 30 seconds that you see a, a dead mm -hmm. animal on the side of the road and the 30 seconds after you drive past it was this always the idea you wanted to challenge or did you go through a few different iterations? Uh, yeah, so that, I mean, that was the final idea, but yeah, it yeah. took me quite a while to get there. So since my energy, uh, my background has mostly been in like energy and sort of um, power, um, I and that's kind of my strong suit, I thought, well, let's like have a look at um, some kind of like little renewable energy systems. So I was playing around with ideas of like micro hydro, um, and like different wave kind of energy technology things. Um, but, you know, I have all these ideas. It's easy generating all the ideas, but then like, you know, you try and tear them apart and all of them just kind of, they've either like always either been done before or like economically, it's just not going to happen. Um, or they're not that kind of efficient. Um, I don't know. There's always a lot of holes in these ideas. So, um, yeah, I kind of struggled with that for a little while and then eventually I thought I need to tackle a different problem. Um, so I sort of thought a little bit more about problems that were specific to Tasmania. Um, and I'd actually just been to um, the Bonorong Wildlife Sanctuary, which is just out of Hobart. Um, they run these little night feeding tours where you go and feed like your kidneys and stuff. Um, super cute, but we uh, learned a little bit about conservation there and they were talking about roadkill. Um, so it was kind of all fresh in my mind at the time. So when I was specifically trying to think, okay, what are some more like Tasmania focused problems? Um, you know, roadkill was the first thing that came to mind. And I was like, um, it's kind of the perfect design opportunity because there hasn't been kind of any very effective solutions um, at the moment and there hasn't been a lot of progress either. So I thought, you know, this would be something interesting to, um, yeah, look into more. Was there like a, a eureka moment at all or was it kind of something that you, you kept working away at and then you eventually found the solution through hard work? Um, there was kind of like a couple of small eureka points. I think... Um, uh, when I kind of came up with like the very vague concept, I was trying to see um, if it's actually doable to get long distance um, like wireless communication signals that could go far enough 
um, that would like give you enough time to kind of scare the animals off the road. Um, so I was looking into like long distance radio frequency signals um, and I worked out that they existed and I was like, okay, yay, like we can move on to the next thing. And so then I was, um, uh, yeah, I was trying to think about how I could put together like a little prototype um, and I managed to get some little bits and pieces that work with like an Arduino microprocessor. And then I sort of put that together and then I had that working as well. And I was like, okay, like I might be onto something here. And then again, I was just trying to poke more holes into the idea and sort of work out where it doesn't work. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously I knew that it needed a lot of refining and a lot more research, um, but it was pretty watertight. And I thought, okay, like this is, this might actually be be viable. <laughs> and I was, yeah, I felt pretty good about the submission. I was like, yeah, this is, this is a good idea. <laughs> What was that submission process like for you? Uh, it was really straightforward. Um, I'm pretty sure I sort of had my, like, got the final concept together and then that afternoon I went to JCAR and I bought the little parts for the prototype. Um, I whipped that up. It was a pretty quick job. I think I stole, like, a little bit of code from online to, like, get it to work. <laughs> and so that was, like, that was quite fun. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and then I came up with the script as well. So it was only 60 seconds. So the hardest bit was trying to like, um, hit every criteria and stay within the time limit. So I think it only ended up being maybe like one or two sentences kind of per criteria. Um, but that's kind of good in a way because it means you don't have to go into like so much detail and you don't have to develop so much detail about the idea. It's kind of just very surface level. Um, which was where it was at. So, um, so that was good. And then, um, I recorded that and then I had to sort of time it with the presentation. Um, yeah. And then, um, filled out the little online form and submitted it. And so I think, oh, I think that night, um, I'm pretty sure it was the day before it was due to, um, <laughs> um <laughs> like to leave it to the last minute just to give myself that pressure. Um, yeah, so I think kind of the process of um, putting the whole thing together, it took me a good maybe like five or six hours one night um, oh, yeah. with kind of on and off like ideating a few days before that. So, um, yeah, it wasn't a huge commitment um, and it was pretty fun to bring it all together. So the grand prize uh, comes through 10000 minus the $60, $70 for the parking ticket, which is <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of money for a uni student. What is actually then the plan? What do you then go and do with the prize money afterwards? Uh, yeah, so with the prize money, I'm hoping to – I've still got it sort of saved away. I haven't touched it, yeah. um, keeping it safe and sound, but I've actually been working on the whole – project as my honours project and I'm just about to get back into the second half which involves putting together the prototype and testing it so I think a fair bit of that funding's probably going to go towards that it's definitely going to take quite a few iterations to get it right probably most of that funding is going to go towards um, prototype building and testing even sort of beyond my honours you know I'm quite keen to keep working at it and get it to a point where I can sort of work it and run um, yeah some full-scale trials. 